British paramedic Jamie Walsh is learning to fly an Iron Man style jet suit in strong winds and rain for the first time. The goal? To get to mountain rescue casualties faster. And it's a really key day to day to be able to do that in the difficult rain and wind conditions because uh, obviously in Cumbria it rains and it's windy a lot so yeah it went really really well. Walsh works at the Great North Air Ambulance Service. For the past year, he's been helping to test the jet suit's suitability for use by paramedics. The test flights in England's northern Lake District, supported by Danish renewable energy company Orsted, took place in heavy rain and with winds gusting at more than 30 miles per hour. The, the challenge with the, the wind and the rain, obviously the rain when you're moving it, a little bit of speed, uh, you know, the rain gets in your face and in your eyes a little bit, but actually uh, countering the wind is when you're coming up over a ridge line is sometimes a little bit difficult, but actually if you're expecting it, it's a very stable piece of equipment and, and you can counter it and, and manoeuvre it and manage it quite safely. The jet suit from Gravity Industries has been in development since 2017. The latest 3D printed version can reach speeds in excess of 85 miles per hour at more than 12,000 feet above ground. But for safety reasons, they normally hug the terrain at much slower speeds. Richard Browning is Gravity Industries founder and chief test pilot. What we've really learned as, as a, really a jet suit company is that paramedic response is all about getting to the side of that critical care patient super fast. A bit like a paramedic on a motorbike, you're not taking them to hospital, you're getting alongside them to sort out blood loss, a breathing problem, manage pain and, and triage that patient. And our ability to get over any terrain in almost any weather and get alongside that casualty, often faster than a helicopter or on foot, that's turned out to be super valuable. Gravity Industries is also working with elite and special forces, including at sea. In September 2022, the company demonstrated the jet suit's capability in New York Harbour, flying off the back of the Royal Navy's aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth. It's all about moving those soldiers over any terrain within a few mile radius, within 15 seconds of notice, and putting them into a position where maybe they can set up an observation post, they can conduct raiding or sabotage, or in the maritime environment, they can actually get on board a ship to secure maybe a hostage situation, for instance. Browning says the development of the jet suit has gotten a lot further than he had ever imagined. This whole journey started with a, a seemingly ludicrous vision of could you get a human being to fly, not by being inside a flight vehicle, but by just adding the minimalist technology. And I think we've got this a lot further than I ever imagined, but the really exciting thing is we're only at the beginning of the journey. There is so much more we can do. And because all of this is 3D printed, we actually iterate the design almost on a, a fortnightly basis. So there's a huge amount more we can deliver. Mm -hmm.